Okay, we're gonna do some leak testing with high pressure dry nitrogen and the leak detector, the ultrasonic leak detector. Sorry, it took a little bit for that to get in. We'll use some big blue to pinpoint it. So I already went through this system. I filled this up. I made a video earlier that I probably released a couple days ago. Unless I put these videos together, they'll come in uh, succession. And I filled this up with 163, 68 PSI on Friday. This is now Monday morning and it only had eight PSI in the system. I did a quick look around on that day. I had no time to do it because I had three vehicles here and it was on a Friday and this had vehicle has all the time in the world because it's going through a restoration. Um, so let's look at the size of this leak. Let me turn off the pressure. So I only have the one high side hose hooked up right here and you can see it going down by tenths of a PSI. So I knew there was a leak on Friday and I went over the entire system and I just to save time I pinpointed it and now watch you cannot hear the headphones I get the wire here is going to my headphones I could hear it but you'll see the light now watch this from what distance you see that see that light so in my ears, I'm starting to hear the leak from this distance. I'm way up here. Let's see if I can hear it. It's even louder right there. So from this distance, I can tell there's a leak somewhere down in that general vicinity. There's not much room down here. So I'll get my, get a little closer. You could see it gets a little higher. Okay, I could hear that really loud in my ears. So I'll get down there closer. You know, kind of pinpoint it. Uh, maybe not right there. Getting there is an issue. You could see the light. You know I'm getting into the right right area. trying to let you see right there so I'm really close wherever that is somewhere around this line so now it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to pinpoint it because there's just not really physical I lost my extension tube I have to go get a it's just a tube like this and uh gotta get another one i lost it but i know it's right right down there somewhere around that fitting somewhere around there it might be the seal on top of the head of the compressor right there going to that king valve right there uh, i'm going to pinpoint it they're already missing the caps off the ends but uh i'm going to squirt some stuff down there let's see if we see some bubbles down there so in the next video you will see me using the big blue refrigerant leak detector, micro bubbles. Uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, I'll see you later.